Today we're putting two Mercedes Sprinter vans to the test. Both have upgraded wheels and BFG KO3 tires, but one of them has a secret weapon, our Darkstar Off-Road Limited Slip Differential. Sprinter vans come stock with open differentials. In an open differential, the wheels rotate at different speeds to allow for better cornering. However, if one wheel loses traction, the differential sends power to the wheel with the least resistance, meaning the wheel without traction spins and the other wheel doesn't move. This is bad for low traction environments like sand and snow. Now compare that to our limited slip differential. In this van, the differential is designed to limit the difference in speed between the two wheels. When one wheel slips, the LSD senses the loss of traction and automatically transfers more torque to the wheel that has grip. The limited slip also allows for smooth cornering in normal driving conditions. As opposed to a locking differential that forces the wheels to move at the same speed, compromising cornering. Now that we know how each differential works, let's test them in two common low traction environments, sand in the desert and snow in the mountains. The first obstacle for our vans to conquer is a pair of sand dunes. The goal is to drive over both sand dunes back to back without getting stuck. All right, not doing anything fancy here. We're gonna go up this little sand dune. I think it's gonna be a bit of a challenge, but we'll see what we can do. Limited slip is working well. I don't feel like we're gonna get buried anywhere out here, which is the whole point of the LSD. It's really capable and uh, keeps you out of trouble when you're trying to get to a good camp spot. Okay, this is our this is our control van, non-LSD in this thing. Stock still has the BFG KO3s on it. We're gonna do the same obstacle. Um, we'll see if we can go. I'm gonna give it full beans. I've got the ESP off, same as in the other test, and uh, we'll see if we can get up and over this thing. The sand's pretty soft at the top. Here it goes. Some speed. Nope. As soon as you lose momentum in the soft sand, uh, it just doesn't it just doesn't push you up over the top like the LSD van does. I'm gonna give it one more go, maybe try to get a little more, a little more run to it. Put this thing in second gear so it doesn't upshift on us. Keep the torque going. Go. Man, it just pulls power as it starts to see the slip. Obstacle two is a short, steep dune. The steepness of this dune will really test the traction of these vehicles. Got the ESP turned off. I think that's the best mode for this when you're really getting into some rugged stuff. It's a really nice, normal crawling speed that you would get through it. You don't want to get jostled around too much. Worked really nice. That LSD is really kicking ass in there. I'm going on this other obstacle that we've cleared a bunch of times in the LSD van. I'm going to give it a go in the control van. Here we go. ESP off. Come up at it with a steady speed. Yeah, as soon as it starts to dig, it just, the back end just blows out and it digs a hole. I'm give it one more, one more go on this thing. That, that same path. A little bit of speed. Nope. Yeah, that's the problem with these uh, new automatics is they don't allow you to like, really rock the vehicle very well. Obstacle three is a long and moderate hill climb. This slow hill climb is where we get to see how these differentials really work. Again, this is not a momentum hill. We're just crawling up it. Seeing how the grip is going. 
even right now it's struggling it wants to dig a tire in got real gentle on the throttle so i don't dig a big hole it's trying no that's where the lsd would save you you'd be able to crawl right on through that but not with just one wheel spinning this is a great illustration of the open differential and the control van. An open differential sends power to the wheel with the least resistance, which usually means the one in the air or on loose dirt. Now watch the LSD van. When one wheel slips, the differential automatically transfers torque to the other wheel, keeping traction and the van moving forward. Now let's take our vans to a new environment, the snowy mountains. The first obstacle is a long steep hill with a soft section in the middle. All right, we're gonna go up the hill. Check out how the KO3s do with uh, no limited slip and it's a pretty steep hill with a little slump. Coming into a little slippery section here. Slipping a little bit, but not too bad. Making good traction. Uh -oh, spinning a lot. Really spinning. Oh, we are, we are stuck. I'm gonna go back and give it another roll. I got the ESP off so I can try to maximize the traction out of this thing. So those electronics aren't holding us up. Here's the real soft spot up here. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, boy, when you get, you get the front tires, it won't push them out. Go back to the ESP settings. Got it off. I'm going to try it back on. Get a little run at it. Let's drift into the side. Ooh, stuck again. All right. We're gonna have to get a little bigger run for this thing. Otherwise, I'm gonna end up wedged against the wall here. I can hear the ESP grinding away as the computers are trying to put the brakes on. There you go, it pulls it out, but it's pretty, uh, it's pretty tricky. Okay, so we're leaving a backcountry ski area. Uh, and a big snowy road with a hill climb. Pretty typical place for us to have one of these vans out. Leaving a day, the snow's a little soft, and uh, we gotta get up this hill through a big squishy spot. This, this van's got the uh, Darkstar Off-Road limited slip differential in it. Right now we got no slippage, no nothing. It's getting steeper, being gentle on the throttle like you want it to be, but man, it feels uh, super stable. All right, approaching a nice little steep spot in this hill. It's super soft snow. Got the DSO limited slip in this thing. Really soft snow. The front tires are pushing through it. We're gonna go nice and slow so we don't slide. Boy, no slippage at all. It's just pulling through it. I'm even gonna stop, accelerate right out. Um, just, just continues to stop and go. No slippage at all. Not worried about sliding into the, the snow bank on the side. A lot of confidence. You could take this thing anywhere. Super confidence inspiring. Not worried about getting to the backcountry ski area in this rig. Our second obstacle is meant to recreate parking in deep snow, a common situation you might find yourself in while skiing. Well, we're doing what every uh, backcountry skier does on a busy day. We've got the, the van with our LSD in it. We got it backed over the snow bank, up uh, over the snowplow curb. It's in there pretty deep, but I think we can just pull it right out. It's, uh, this will be a pretty good test of the, the limited slip. The snow's soft, it's a little melty today. We'll give it a go, see what happens. I got the ESP off to give myself maximum ability to, to wing it out of here, and uh, we'll give it a go. Spinning a little bit, but it's gonna crawl right out just like we want. Nice. It's 
This is our comparison vehicle. We've got it wedged over the over the berm, and we're gonna see if we can get this thing out of here. I got the ESP on, I got the thing pretty stuck, but it's uh, cutting power and uh, I can't really get it to get it to get out of this little ditch. I'm rocking it, pretty stuck right now. I may have to get the LSD van to pull us out. Okay. After putting our vans through a variety of off-road obstacles in both sand and snow, we saw firsthand how much better the limited slip differential performed in these environments. So if your adventure is taking beyond the pavement, this upgrade isn't just a luxury, it's a game changer. A limited slip differential is one of the smartest, most effective ways to improve your off-road performance. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to stay up to date on new products in the adventure van industry.